I'm Kelly Mayo from Skating Poly. And I'm Peyton Big Horse from Skating Poly. <laughs> <laughs> we are Skating Poly together. Yeah. We make Skating Poly. Um, yeah, we're from Oklahoma. We're an ugly pop duo of stepsisters. <laughs> <laughs> We started in 2009, October 31st, so we've been playing together for five years. A little more than five years, but not almost six years yet either. My favorite definition of ugly pop was we asked Lori Barbero from Bays and Toyland what she thought ugly pop was, and she said it's pop music that's been drugged on the back of a horse through like <laughs> dirt and shit and everything disgusting <laughs> and turned into ugly pop. <laughs> when we were on tour with Kate, she would talk every night about like girl gang and just how she wanted more girls to get into like songwriting and music and stuff in general just because like the ratio of like girl songwriters to guy side songwriters is just like crazy it's like small and, and she would just talk about how she tore like she would do this thing where she went to schools and like wor workshops and um, with all these girls and she'd be like oh well you could actually do this you could be in a band or whatever and they'd be like no I'm too fat or I'm too like I have too much acne or I, too, I have glasses or whatever and it's just like it's like a self-esteem problem with a lot of girls. The girls need to like not worry about things like that and they just need to like move past that and just carve themselves out of space. And like it was crazy because right before the tour I had wrote this song called Ugly which is entirely about like uh, not worrying about being called ugly because whether you fall into like you know wearing dresses and wearing makeup or wearing high heels or whatever and you try really hard, people are still gonna be there to like make you feel shitty about yourself. Or if you just like don't try, then people are gonna, you know, still obviously make you feel shitty about yourself. So it's just like, you have to just not care about it because it's not relevant really, because it's just like, oh, that one person isn't attracted to me. Well, they're an asshole, so maybe I don't want them to be. to sexualize himself or be pretty or anything to be in a band or make music or just make art in general because as long as you're just true and genuine and it's just like coming from yourself then it's going to be really good because it's art and it's just like self-expression so you don't need to like try to be anything else and you don't even have to be a good musician to start a band like for christ's sake me and Peyton were not good musicians when we started a band <laughs> i wrote so many two chord like two note songs and then it was just like, I, I mean, like, I could kind of sing. I was nine. <laughs> I don't think women should be, like, their music should just be tied to the fact that they're women. I think we need to get over that hump by just making a lot of women, st like, start making music. There's a lot of, like, feminist bands who make music entirely just about, like, being a girl and, like, girl struggles. And that's really cool, and I like a lot of those bands. But then at the same time, it's like there's bands that just are girls and just want to make music and don't have anything to do with feminism and it's like they just want to make music they're just like women who happen to maybe be in a band so they don't have to have anything to do with it and like that should be acceptable you know and at the same time there's the people who just like feel like they have to like sexualize themselves and it's like really confusing when you're a young girl and you're like listening to all this music because it's like oh you know this one's the sexy music and this one's like the how struggle, how hard it is to be a girl and like the tough music and this one's like like what is this and you, you get confused how it all like like falls in with each other and it's just like that that shouldn't be a problem the very first out of state show we played was in Kansas I don't remember the town but we played Kansas and after that I just really wanted to go to more states and play like whole tours and everything because it was really fun just driving up to a different state to play for a bunch of different people that we've never played for before. And I think that was like in 2010. 
And it was Hayes, Kansas, yeah. Yeah, and it was our first out-of-state show, and we made, like, shirts for it that said, Skating Polly goes to Kansas, and we yeah. made this whole outfit. Like, for the, <laughs> the whole week before that, I would do something every day. Like, once I made a little poster out of bread and jelly, and, uh, and just took a picture of it. I made a video just on paint and uh, the Microsoft movie thing. And it was such a huge deal for us, and we were so excited. And ever since then, it's just like I want to see as many states as I can and meet as many people as I can and play for as many people as we can. Touring is really my favorite part of being in a band. I like it more than recording and, like, probably even more than writing songs because if you can just, like, play really high-energy shows every night, even if, like, people hate you, it's just there's something super satisfying about it. It's just like, oh, man, I just... Lost my voice and <coughs> my throat's bleeding. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't go out much, so I mean. <laughs>